Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the image of an extended object in convex lens. In my previous video, I have explained the descriptions of an image that is formed in concave lens, and this video is about the convex lens. And uh, those who you know that the rule of six that is applicable in case of concave mirror and I also already uploaded and explained that how this rule of six works and this is also implicable uh, this convex mm, lens also so if you see this picture and I have drawn six other pictures that will be uh, helpful for you to understand that why the position of object and how the position of image has been changed uh, through the ray diagram so I hope you already know the ray diagram of lens and if you know it then think about it. this is a convex lens okay so where can be the object so object can be at infinite object can be at infinite object can be at outside of 2f as you know this is 2f this is f this is f and 2f Though I have drawn these pictures in my own hand through this uh, scale, but it's not actually accurate. But when you draw through the pencils and compass, make it accurate, please. Without accuracy, these figures might not be uh, perfect. So I'm requesting you all, when you draw these things like image formations in lens and mirror, try to be more accurate and perfect. So. This is F, and you know that all the distance should be measured from the optical center, which is this. So this distance is equal to this distance, and similarly this one is equal to this one. So then you can say, okay, that object can be in six different position. This is the object at infinite. This is outside of 2F. This object is in 2F. This object is in, in between F and 12. This is in focus and this position is in between the optical center and the focus. Now the question is, there are six different positions where object can be. And now what are the positions of image and what is the nature and size of the image that will definitely vary. So this is convex lens and this is the six different positions and now we can name it. This is number one, two, three, four, five and six. So now when you see that object is in any positions, so the image, image would be which positions? It can be easily remembered by the countable number is six. Suppose where object is in number one position, I mean when object is in at an infinite, then image would be at focus that is five. Position number five is focus, position number one is infinite. So when the object is at infinite, the image will be formed in focus. So similarly, similarly here you see that this is the positions like this is um, this is six five four three two one. So similarly, when the object is at infinite number one, that image would be in focus. When object is at two, that is more than two f distance, then image would be at four. That means image would be between f and 2f. This is the four number positions. When image at 2f distance, then image would be at 2f distance. As because this is the number three positions, this is also number three positions. So when object would be at 2f position, image would be at 2f positions. Similarly, when object would be much more nearer, like in between f and 2f, then then the image will be at two number position that is more than 12 distance when object is at five number position object is at five number position image will be at infinite and when object is six number position then image will be at that side i mean image will be on the side of where object is so on the side of object so 
This is very useful and this is also very interesting to remember and to understand or visualize the total concept of image formation of an extended object in convex lens. So start it from number two because I'll give you an idea that why number one would be discussed at last. Think about it. Think about uh, number two number position. Suppose an object is in is in here like a 2f number position suppose this is the object so you know this is 2f and this is f on the other side this is f and 2f okay so now how to draw it you know a, a parallel ray would be fallen into the lens and then after that it will go through the principal focus so it will go through the focus and it will be like this Okay, and then what will happen? And the next level, the, the line would go through the, the optical center. When you draw it to the optical center, you see the image will be formed where? The image, the image would be formed here. You see the meeting point of the ray diagram. The meeting point of the ray diagram is between F and 2f you know this is f and this is 2f so this is the number position of 2 and this is the position number 4 so you see one object in number 2 position image will be at 4 number position so 2 is more than 2f distance image will be here and this image is this image is actually what type of this is real and inverted this is real image and inverted image. So when we explain the description of an image, we consider three things. That is position, position, size and nature. So what is the position? Position is in between F and 2F. The position is in between F and 2F. Size, which is diminished. You see, this is a smaller image comparatively than the object and the nature of the object image is real and inverted so in one light we can say this is this is real and inverted and we can see the image size is a smaller or diminished diminished okay so i hope you understand number two now number three think about it that three number position is 2f so now the object is in 2f number position. So now think about it. Where 3 number position is at 2f distance. So where would be the image? Image would be at 2f position. Because 3 and 3, that is 6. And that is why it's a rule of 6. So, so what would be the ray diagram? The ray diagram is at first when a parallel ray would fall into the lens after that. It will go through the focus. So now we can see it will go through the focus. And you see when the second position is, I mean the second ray diagram would be between the optical center. So when it will go to the optical center, you see that it will be it will be here. So where is the image is formed? It's actually a 2F. So in 2f the image is formed. At 2f this image is formed. So we say this is 2f, this is f, this is f, and this is 2f. So you know this is number three position and this is also number three position. And if it is a and b, then this is b point and this is b prime and a prime. So A prime B prime is the image of the object A and B. Now you see what is the description of this image. Where it is formed? So number one, position. That is at 2F. Number two is size or nature. So if you say nature, this is real and inverted. Number three is uh, size. It is definitely equal to the object. So in number three position, 
what would be the description? We simply can say this is also real and inverted, real and inverted, and in case of size, it is uh, equal, equal to the object, equal to the object. So simply or shortly, we can say this. So position is clear. When you explain the image, then you must say three things. Position, uh, nature and the, uh, the size of the object. So now number four. So it was number three. So the number four position is in between F and 2F. So when in between F and 2F, the object is, image will be formed in second position which is far from 2f far from 2f so suppose this is the uh, this is the object okay so at first what will happen a parallel diagram parallel ray diagram will fall into the into the lens and thereafter it will go through f and secondly another line will go through the optical center and then it will happen like this when it will go through the optical center you see the image is formed here that is actually far from 2f so we can say that this is the image that is formed and now you see you see the image is slightly larged so when we can see that object is going near to the lens, image is getting bigger. So what is the explanation of the image? That is the position is far from 2F. Secondly is nature. This is also real and inverted. And also the size is magnified. So we can say the nature is the nature is real and inverted. We can say this is real and inverted and the position is at far from 2F and the size is magni, magnified. So number 4 is also clear. Now think about number 5. So when number 5, that means when object is at number five that is at focus so what will be uh, the explanations in case of image so here think about it this is number five so this is 2f and this is f okay so a parallel line with the principal axis will be will be fallen to the lens and then after it will go through this way that is actually through the focus and then another line like before will go through the same uh, the optical center so when it will go through the optical center you see that both ray would be parallel though i'm going to mistake it would be like through the optical center you see that after refraction this line is parallel so they won't meet each other but the image would form at the infinite because it would be the extremely magnified image and that would be formed at the infinite. So when you see the positions of object at number 5, the image would be number 1. So that number 1 is infinite. So you see the position of object at 5 and image at 1. So we can say this is a virtual image. So we can say this is a virtual image and this is extremely, extremely magnified. Okay? So things are clear. Now you think in case of number 6 position. What would be if the object is here? Here. So this is F and this is 2f what will be the the ray diagram a parallel line a parallel line of principal focus and then after then after it will go through it will go through the principal focus and then and then this should be 
this should be the line and you see after that if you think it's it's coming from that way it's coming from that way then you can find the the meet each other in a virtual way so this is the meeting point and this is the virtual image that is formed we said earlier that when object would be at number six position then image would be that side where the object is so this is the object so it was in, in the number six position and you see the image is they, they won't meet at other but it is appearing that they are coming from this point so this is the extremely or you can say the magnified image that is formed so what is the what is the explanation would be it would be virtual it would be virtual plus erect and this is magnified this is magnified image and what about the number one that I didn't start at first the number one is when light rays are coming from the infinite so when from infinite is coming we know that it simply will form at the focal plane or the focus so we can say that if ray diagram from the infinite is coming like a parallel ray which we don't know suppose a parallel ray is coming and this is from the infinite and then after they will form they will form an image here so after refractions after refractions they will form image here so this is the image so we can say simply from the principle that when a light rays are coming from the infinite image will form in the focus and the nature of it it is real real and inverted inverted and the focal point is the position of the image and this is extremely diminished so very small image will be formed so you can say this is extremely diminished extremely diminished so this is the explanation of the sixth diagram I hope you understand because I tried to make it more practical and I'm doing it on my own hand but uh, of course it's not very perfect I mean 100% accurate but when you draw with your own uh, pencil compass and with some perfect thinking I hope things would be much more accurate and proper so you see that is the number two positions where the image is formed at number four so it's three three so this is actually four and two so we can say this is number four and this is number two this is number five this is number one so this is number six and that side so this is number five and this is so it uh, this is number one actually and this is five so this is the explanations of image of an extended object in convex lens so i hope you can draw one two three four five six diagram and if you see this is the rule of six standard position so number one is the position of object five is the position of image so one five two four three three four two five one and six on that position this is the summation of six and that is why this rule is called the rule of six so if you really understand those who are watching this tutorial from any corner of the world after watching this tutorial do you really understand that how to draw this figure do let me know in the comment sections i shall be so much grateful to you if i know that i can have a positive impact on your study this is so much a peaceful feeling from my side because i'm trying my level best to upload all the science related topics like in physics chemistry and biology for you, those are students of English versions, English mediums and Cadet College from anywhere. So, take care, stay well, study well.